and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner-related videos, DIY tutorials, art and journal videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing this on your favorite platform does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, as usual, I will put a timestamp down in the description box as well as the pinned comment of when the planning actually starts. But like I like to do, I will start out with shout outs from this week's video. This was a Christmas in July spread, obviously, and you guys did have some thoughts. So Colleen from New Jersey <laughs> called this Betty Cracker. <laughs> And that's because I didn't know her name. I have since found out her name is Clara. Um, but I thought she hooked up with this guy who's the Nutcracker. And so I called her Betty, Betty Cracker. There you go. <laughs> and she had asked, um, so we are going to be planning for the week of the 20th, the 19th, 20th, something like that. Yeah, no, 20th. Uh, words. And I do have my birthday in the week that we'll be planning. I am July 23rd. That's my birthday. Um, while I truly have always identified as a Leo, uh, I actually am on the Cancer Leo cusp. And I think it actually is, is more fitting. I have some of the traits of a Cancer as well as some of the traits of a Leo. And I think sometimes that's why I am the way that I am. <laughs> so there's that. Um, Aaron S. also has a birthday on July 23rd. I won't wish you a happy birthday. Um, I don't know if it's a Hawaii thing or a local thing or an Asian thing or a Polynesian thing. I don't know what it is, but it's bachi. It's bad luck to wish someone a happy birthday before their birthday. So I hope you have a fabulous next Thursday. <laughs> I can I can say that. Um, Kimberly called this the one where Joe <laughs> was a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't even, I remember saying, oh look, I'm a YouTuber, but I don't remember why I said that. Mm, yeah, I'll have to watch the video because I remember saying it, I just, I have no idea why I did. But thank you, Kimberly, for naming that. I know, I was feeling all kinds of special. Blue Bonnet. <laughs> calls this the one where Betty hooks up with the Nutcracker guy. <laughs> and I actually quite appreciated that one as well. Uh, Angela I calls this Betty goes nuts and Nutcracker Betty love it. Katie, um, she said, this is called Get Busy with Little Elves, and she had um, pointed out that the whole Christmas in July that she understood was because crafters begin their craft projects um, in July to be ready for the holiday season, and that makes perfect sense. Uh, the kind of crafter I am, I'm cramming everything like three weeks before Black Friday. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that this year. I still haven't opened my shop. I don't know when I'm going to be opening my shop. But yeah, I'm not the let's do things in the summer because summer is actually really busy for me at work. It's sort of like let's kill myself right before Black Friday and then hope for the best. But it does make sense what you said, Katie. Lynette Plans had actually said this is hot chocolate and not coffee. And I'm like, oh, that actually makes more sense. I mean, it's it could be a hot beverage. It could be a cold beverage. It could be a, a cup full of vodka. I mean, you know, you do you. <laughs> so, hey, Lynette. Luann called this July Wonderland as she didn't want to have anything that was even close to being considered a stripper name. And if you watch last week's video, you know what I'm talking about. However, Luann, <laughs> I was thinking, well, where would vintage Vavoom work? Uh, hello, July Wonderland. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, I mean, I can. I actually can see it right now, a July Wonderland stripper club of middle-aged <laughs> strippers. 
Oh, oh I'm, I'm pretty sure the food be good though, right? Right? <laughs> videos oh my goodness uh tanya with an a i want to apologize or mostly i want to apologize to your cat <laughs> uh, i'm sorry that your reaction to the uh, early part of the video uh, made her come check on you but i mean i get it and I'm, I'm very thankful that your cat is on top of things mel t um that actually would have been really cute if i had put the presents on top of the bike so thank you for that suggestion Juriana called this christmas paradise debbie of plan do repeat called this vintage bavoom christmas with bucky part one and she suggested i do part two in actual December, and I think that's a great idea. So somebody write that down and remind me, please. <laughs> I, I, I don't even have next week set up. I certainly don't have anything to put for December. So someone remind me, okay? Someone, someone do that. Annette called this Bucky's first Christmas in July. He loved that. Uh, Lorraine called this <laughs> Sorry, Sugar Plum. And I, I love that because I wanted to fit her, but she didn't fit. She's still in the sticker book, not in, not getting her love. So I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, and Kathleen, I'm, I'm sorry that you spit out your coffee. I know. I, I just I mean the, the, the imagery really just like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Andy from It's a Reading Thing. Happy Saturday to you too, my friend. And Amanda R. called this Sugar Plum Celebration Came Early. Oh, and there's there's two more. There's two more. Uh, Andy called this Vintage of Boom. <laughs> and Hello Mo from Better Late Than Broke. I will link her channel below. And I just want to say hello and good morning to you as well, my friend. All right. So it is Nietzsche Saturday, where every Saturday I join Jasmine and Miranda here on YouTube with a whole host of other ladies who we work in our skinny classic, Happy Nietzsche, Fopa Nietzsche, all the Nietzsche's. As I mentioned, this week will be my birthday week. And as I mentioned in last week's video, I have an idea. And that's why there's a gabillion sticker books sitting right next to me. So we are going to continue to use these papers, mostly because it's there. <laughs> and uh, the idea that I have um, is based on something that I've done previously. Once I'm done with the spread, I'll actually go get it because it's a little bit out of reach for me. And so we are going to be using colorful boxes. We're going to be using this for the numbers as well as this is where I store um, these stickers from Lux Clever Crafts, the day stickers. I'm definitely going to have to order more because I'm running low. I've got, what, two, four, six, seven weeks? Yeah, so I definitely need to order more of these. And then I thought I would pull out some of these, and it's mostly because a particular kind of sticker. Now, this is the old one. I actually have a newer one that has more boxes, uh, but I don't know where I put that. So we're going to use this one. I was thinking we could use this, but those colors don't really match up but I need the full boxes. So one, two, three, four. We're just gonna go with this one. It's, it's not in the tones I would have liked, but that's okay. And I'm gonna use, well, I don't know that I'll be using these, but I'm gonna be using all the box stickers. So I'm gonna cut this out. And then I'm also probably gonna be using some of these as well. But I wanted this out because I need that as a background. I'm actually going to turn it this way. I don't need this for right now. And again, we're recreating something I've done in the past. And for that spread, I used stickers that I wasn't a fan of, so we are going to do that for this spread. But I'm hoping, like that one, it actually turns out okay. Let me look for those sticker pages, because I, I saw them earlier, 
and then I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so the ones I was looking for were these emojis. Now, not every sticker book has them, but every sticker book that does have them, to me, is just a wasted page. I'm, I'm really never going to use them. And so because of that, I actually decided, well, let me try and use them this week. And just like that other one, and again, I'll show you at the end of this video, um, I'm going to do a whole bunch of layering. So what I think I'm going to do, because it's, I mean... I'll, I'll have you watch, but I will speed it up. I will put on some music. I'm gonna do these here, and I might only do five, and then do one long box. No, 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 I will do, I will do seven. Oh, yeah, because, actually, <sighs> okay, we're saved, we're saved, we're saved. Maybe not, but we're saved. So I'm gonna do seven of these boxes. Like I said, I'm gonna go silent because it's really just right now a process. I will turn on some music for you guys and then we'll go from there.
Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm actually liking how it looks, but I guess when I did the other spread, the stickers are bigger, and so I didn't have to place as many down. My hands hurt so much right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So now I need to make this functional and you're like, there's no way. I, I know guys, I, I know it, it seems that way, but there there's a way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, will be one short, seven, all right. So I'm going to put this right down in the middle and I'll do the same for the others. And if I can, I'll try to stagger it so that the same color isn't with the same color. I'm not sure if you guys are in frame. Oh, like I said, my hands hurt so bad right now. I do have um, arthritis and working with these little things is no bueno for me, but I'm, I'm hoping you guys can start seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> Again, the tones and, and whatnot are not really the same as the center of the, the page, but there's really nothing we can do about that. Well, no, that's actually a lie. There's actually something we can do about that, but there's nothing I'm gonna do about that because I'm, I'm horrible at putting washi down and I would totally just throw a pre-birthday tantrum if I had to do the whiteout thing. You guys remember, remember? You, you remember. Okay, so we've got that down. Now we're gonna go into this one and we're gonna put our days down. And I'm gonna put the days and the dates down and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I originally had down the colorful days, uh, these right here, but the yellow did not pop out. And when I tried to rip it up, it actually was ripping everything. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's actually yellow underneath that because I, I just couldn't take it up. So now we have got our stickers. So I'm going to put these down. And if you guys watched that flip through video that I did, you know that this is my absolute favorite spread uh, to do um, or that I've done so far. I mean, I, I definitely am leaving room to come up with a new favorite spread. But I want to make sure I get the days correct. Okay, so we've got four days on that page. And we have three days on this page. I'm gonna put these to the side. And I'm actually gonna look in here for something that says happy birthday and I'll be right back. All right, I actually pulled this one out. This was gifted to me by my friend Val uh, because I wanted some quotes. And so we're gonna put this one here. The best time to have a party is always whenever you can. And then we're going to put that cake I just saw right there. And it was in this one in the back that I saw for birthday. And so that's gonna go right here. And you probably have a question or two and uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that. And we'll do a cake right over here 
And the question that you're probably having is, dear Johanna, um, it's a planner, right? <laughs> and you are right. However, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I am taking that weekend off by way of work and by way of doing anything that requires my brain. So for the rest of the week, <clears throat> I'll actually be in the office Monday and Tuesday. And so I can just put some little bullets right there of some things I need to get done or to remember. I can put some bullets there of some things I need to get done and remember. And the rest of this will probably not be touched because I'm, I'm on vacation that weekend. Now, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not probably not even going to leave the house or put a bra on. <laughs> and honestly, that's a vacation in and of itself. <laughs> but... I really wanted to recreate that spread and actually let me go get that. All right, so this is the spread that was my inspiration for this week's spread. Again, I had mentioned when I did this video that I was not a fan of these very realistic flowers, didn't like them as soon as I saw them, but layered up, I actually liked the collage effect and because I concentrated them all in one space, um, I liked that the negative space, this white space here, is where I actually did my planning and I mean, you guys know, I've talked about it before. I actually don't have a lot going on during the week that I track in my planner. And so that's what I wanted to create for this. Now, I, I've never really been a fan of these emoji stickers. But I have to say, um, even though some of them are sad or there's the crying one right there, there's a sad one right there, there's a kissy face one there, I think there's a dead one, yeah, like right there. Um, even though the emotions are all over the place, and honestly, that's, that's me these days, um, all I see is just dots of color. And if I focus on it, then yeah, and I think that's why for these gold ones, I really wanted to pick more of the, the happier ones versus the, the sad or the dead ones. But I really just wanted to use it strictly as a decoration, not so much to focus on the individual pieces, but more of the colors. I actually don't think it looks that bad with this middle section, even though the this is a little bit warmer, these are a little bit cooler. I definitely think had I gone with the yellow emoji stickers, and I do have a few of those, it would have looked horrible. Although, I mean, I'm probably not gonna be in here much except for these three days. So really, <laughs> I wouldn't need to look at it um, very often, but I, I think it's a success just because I use my products. Okay, my hands hurt like crazy, but I still have a functional planner. I could certainly put things here and here. I could certainly write on the sides there, but I also have what I think is a very celebratory spread. <laughs> That's probably a little bit not traditional of what you normally see for birthday weeks. I mean, people normally don't vomit stickers they hate for their birthday week because they just want to use their stickers and the colors are kind of cool together. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> I would love to know what you guys call this. Bucky is already celebrating. It's Thursday afternoon. It's after work. I'm going to see if I can make some curry for dinner. I've been craving some curry. So I already know what I'm doing on Thursday. We're having Chinese and Korean food. Some of us like Korean, me. Some of us like um, Chinese food. So that's what we're going to be having. Instead of a birthday cake, I'm actually going to have some macarons from a local bakery here because those are my favorite and they make me feel like a Korean vlogger. Don't ask. <laughs> and like I said, there's probably going to be a lot of Animal Crossing going on. Or maybe I'll actually turn on the television because I haven't done that in a hot minute. I've been watching YouTube. I've been playing Animal Crossing. And I can't tell you the last movie that I saw on Netflix or, or Hulu or whatever. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just stay in bed in my PJs and just vegetate. I don't know, but it's going to be a cool week. Erin again, happy Thursday to you. And uh, as always, guys, aloha. Uh -huh.